Here is a Asus UL30 with um, infamous problem uh, on its wireless card. Otherwise, it's a perfect laptop. So I'm going to show you today. Hey, stop barking. I'm going to show you today how to um, uh, how to swap a card. Now, flip this over. Let's see. Push the two tabs to get the batteries out first. And no. Use a small screwdriver to open the three screws that cover the hard drive cover. Okay, once you've done that, this is the hard drive and the uh, hard, this is actually a hard drive cage and you have a little tab, black tab here that if you pull up the tab this way, you will be able to uh, remove the hard drive. Now the card, the wireless card was here and if you can see, there's actually a giant black tape. Uh, I already ripped out the other half, but there's a giant black tape that used to tape this whole thing. Um, the, the inner motherboard and the wireless card um, together. But you can see the wireless card is here. So once you remove the tape, um, however way you like, uh, you should be able to swap the antenna. This is the antenna number one. And unfortunately, the, the design flaw in this, in, in this machine is that it doesn't have an antenna number two. So one of the quickest hack is to put in a, a, another antenna on the stock uh, card and see and, and resolve the problem with uh, with uh, with with uh, wireless connectivity. Now the wireless card is so I I just pulled as you can see I just pulled the antenna. And the wireless card is also held together by two screws. Uh, so I'm going to remove the two screws. Uh. And you should slide out once you've done that. This is a uh, Intel 5100 um, wireless card that I got from eBay. It works great in Windows, but unfortunately in Linux, uh, it doesn't. And the, 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 you will not be able to switch, swap out the card without uh, chipping off um, a little bit of... I, I basically shaved off a little bit of the plastic here in order to get the card out. I mean, you can take off, obviously there are other ways to get it out, but um, uh, it's, a little com more, uh, it's a little more complicated to get separate the motherboard from the back cover. So I'm just not gonna do that. As you can see, the, um, the wireless card has a thickness to it. And um, this production number, I don't know what, what, what this is, but it's not uh, working in Linux because the revision number is too low. Uh, the driver is just not going to accept it. And the fact is, uh, the fact is the driver is, um, yeah, so I, I, I have to buy another card. You, I mean, you, you should be able to hack the kernel 
somehow to um, to skip this check, but I don't, I, you know, I don't know if that's a good idea. So I just bought another card, which is used from eBay, uh, a working pool from a Dell laptop. So I just got this in the mail today. And um, uh, also I tried an, a real tech card. I tried another half high. Oh, this has to be a half high card, by the way. You, when you buy them, you want to make sure they're half high, because if you buy a full height card, oh, uh, here, here are a bunch of different cards, right? So this is an original card that was in uh, in the laptop, on uh, I believe. Yeah, it says warranty void. Blah blah blah. And this is a 5100 Intel 5100 full high card, and it's not going to fit because if you put put it in here, it's going to get in the way of the hard drive. So another card I bought was a Realtek. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. This is the original card. This is the Realtek card, which is way too big. Um, I had to open up a. It's actually you, you can't see it from here, but it's much thicker from uh, than the other two boards. So I actually have to open up the, the case a lot more. Um, so I'm going to put this new card in. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, this is the old, this is the new card, right? Uh, yes. Let me look at the revision number 256A03. A04 Mac address. Yeah, this one has a Mac address on it. Uh, uh, this one has a Mac Mac address on it. So it's a it's a it's the the working system pool. Now uh, I have to kind of lift the plastic up a little bit before I'm able to plug it in. And once you've done that. Uh, also plug in the little little antenna to antenna number one on the card as specified. In the case of an Intel antenna number one is this one on the left hand side um, with a white arrow to it. So plug into no, antenna number one and leave number two alone unless if you want to uh, have like a better uh, Memo or whatever reception, I don't know. Um, the double frequency or whatever. Uh, better reception basically with two antennas. I heard. I never really tried it because um, I don't want the, an antenna sticking out. So that's it. Put everything back. <laughs>